this um 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 Reminisce um 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 My past is my present baby Yeah, I make decisions to glow Ridiculous flow, potential to glow You know, I, I just do that Consolidate my regions, line it up Put them together Anyone that ever let me down, forget them forever My memory's bad, remember me though? My memory's gone My memory, it limits me home No tree huggers, cause all the lumber's gone Niggas knocking on wood Pass through the hood when it's good And they chopping up wood Breaking up stems, tilting my brim With a limp like a pimp, though I'm shaped like a wimp They put no fear in him It's just me and the end of my time Line. Flow like a fine wine, smelling like fine pine Yeah, is this the end or just the beginning? Am I losing the winning? Is this reality or am I pretending? I'm Kane and Abel, I murdered my brother because I'm Abel She's a producer and a director And most importantly, you have chosen Atlanta as home Yes, I have for the past 10 years so, Terry, let's understand you're working on four Christmas movies or you've just wrapped four Christmas movies? I did. I wrapped four Christmas movies this year, um, three of which will air on BET. Uh, I, uh, it's always a test for me to see if I can um, recall all the names. Okay, let's start. <laughs> so let's start. Hip Hop Holiday, Twas the Chaos Before Christmas, Christmas Bells, and Dear Santa, I Need a Date. Now, everybody knows you from the Steve Harvey Show. Tell us about that character and how that changed your life. Yeah, that, bit, that really was the life-changing uh, character for me. Um, I had been living in L.A. for about five years and, you know, just going through the motions of being an actress, auditioning, getting small parts. And the audition for Steve Harvey came along and... When I got the material right away, I knew it was a perfect fit. It was an easy um, character because I knew her. I knew her. I knew girls like her in my neighborhood that I grew up with. So I just stole characteristics from some of my friends, from some of my neighborhood friends, and created this character, Levita Alize Jenkins. Um, but it was, you know, it was written. It was on the paper. And I was like, gosh, I know this girl. Can you do a moment of Levita for oh us God. just because we love her? I don't know if I can get that voice again. That can you do the voice about talking about your stunning outfit? She doesn't only sparkle in what she's wearing. She sparkles. You are trouble. I don't know. I mean, mm. let me see if... <clears throat> Let me see if I can get that voice again because my outfit is really sparkly because I like to sparkle, I like to shine because that's the kind of girl I am. I'm sparkly and I'm shiny. But what I love oh, about that's you... It. That's all I can <laughs> no, That was pretty good. <laughs> but what I love about you is you don't only sparkle but you share your sparkle because I, I am I now sparkly. You. So I know people want to know about Steve Harvey and working with him and, you know, there's lots of controversy surrounding him but tell us Terry Vaughn's relationship with him? Um, yeah, so when we worked together, there was no um, uh, drama or controversy. And really, because, I mean, we're all friends, and I don't really pay attention to what's going on in the news and stuff, so I don't even know what the controversy is. It's some, he's always into some trouble. I don't know. It, it, did he say something about the president? I have no idea. What is, what is the drama behind him right now? I don't know. Okay, well, that's the thing. So you, I mean, working with him, he was a professional. He treated you professionally. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I used to call him Godfather Steve. He was full of advice. Anything that we ever had advice about, whether it was work or saving money or um, relationship, of course, he was always there to give advice. And he's still the same. Now, what's so remarkable about you is not only are you a great performer, but you've also gone into acting and directing. So share where you're at with that right now. So, yeah, so I have a production company that is based here in Atlanta, Nina Holiday Entertainment. And we've been uh, working together, me and my producing partner, Cass Seegers Beatles, and I have been working together for about 14 years now. We've produced over 16 projects together um, that have aired on television. Um, one is one of the Christmas movies that, that um, I directed this year. And, you know, we, our, whole, um, our whole vision is to create content that features women of color um, in front of the camera and behind the camera. And we've been able to do that. So that's very exciting for me. So in terms of Tyler Perry and Tyler Perry Studios here and really Atlanta just being a new hub for film, mm -hmm. how has that impacted you? 
Um, it's been amazing for us. Um, you know, because of the years that I've been in the business, starting out as an actor, um, I have a lot of relationships and people trust me. And so, you know, when I made the the, it's not a transition into directing because I do still act, but when I added directing to what I do, um, they were open to giving me the opportunity and that's huge. It's like, it takes forever sometimes for people to get even an opportunity to show that they can do it. And so because of the relationships that I've had with the network, I've been able to get the opportunities and I'm, I've directed six movies now. So, of course, advice and guidance to young women and young women of color who are see you as aspirational. Mm -hmm. um, I think, first of all, it's just the belief in yourself that, that you deserve it. If you put in the work and you work hard and you focus and you study your craft, you, you deserve it. And I think a lot of times we question like, oh, you know, because we don't see a lot of us. Um, in those positions, but you know, I want to lead by example that you know I'm a girl that grew up in the hood, that you know, had a very you know just a crazy childhood, and I'm living my dream. And I think a lot of times when you grow up in the neighborhoods that I grew up in, our dreams are limited only because we're not exposed to anything bigger. And so my whole goal in life is to expose young girls to, to the world. It's like we can do and be anything, and that is just the truth, and anything other than that is not. So the next phase of your life, what can we look forward to from Terry Vaughan? Um, just continuing to be a boss, you know, <laughs> creating it's content, a yeah, a sparkly boss, uh, creating content, uh, directing still, acting still. I would, I would love to uh, get on another television series. Um, so those are my goals, and I, I plan to do them. And Terry, is there one person when you look at your life and your career who saw your talents and who encouraged you? Because I think so often we forget the power we have to encourage others. Mm -hmm. Who was the person who saw the magic in Terry Bourne? Um, I would say it's the first director that gave me my job in theater. I got started in acting um, on stage. And I didn't go to school for this. I was going to school for business. I was going into advertising. And I was asked to... Um, audition for a play and I had never done anything and the director of that play is the one they hired me for this show but he taught me the craft of acting and it just changed my life once I got into what the craft is and being introduced to the theater greats like Stanislavski and Uta Hagen and Chekhov and just studying the the craft and the artistry and the power behind what we do as artists because I got that teaching, it changed my life. So, and his name is Paul Roach, and he's an amazing director out of um, the Bay Area. And you are now that person for young actors. Yes. And finally, Terry, just one holiday wish for anyone who's watching this. Oh, my holiday wish would be for people to believe, to believe in themselves, to believe that they can. If they imagine it, if it's a dream, if it's something that they feel, it's given to you for a reason, so don't doubt it. Believe that that is what you can do because you just thought of it. Thank you so much to the very sparkly, both in terms of personality, <laughs> wisdom, and character, Terry Vaughan. Thank you so much for joining us here on Daughter Hollywood Review TV. I should be in the gym doing sit-ups, trying to get this six-pack. But forget that. Where the click at? Where the bras and the cash and the whips at? Where the bit back? Where the bop? Where the bit, bit, bit back? <laughs> I just did that. Trying to focus on my get back, my get up, my re up, my rematch. A patch of seeds and Apache debris passing through Indian Springs in Las Vegas, my Jeep. Bumper Nirvana in Nevada. My favorite word is Medulla Oblongata. Just doing what I gotta. Is this the end or just the beginning? Am I losing or winning? Is this reality or am I pretending? That was poetry, huh? <laughs>